kids. Today, we will be learning rounding off the numbers. First of all, what is rounding off? Rounding is to replace the number with another one that has value approximately equal to our original number, but is simpler, shorter, and easier to represent and use in any calculation. It makes number less exact, but simpler to calculate. Rounding can be to the nearest 10, nearest 100, or nearest 1,000. So, let's first learn rounding to the nearest 10. Here are a few numbers. 12, 34, 27, 88, 45, 65. We have to round them up to the nearest 10. Let's start with 12. See the number line? Where can you fit 12 on this number line? It is somewhere between 10 and 20. Whenever you want to round a number, there are always two options. Either we can round it down to previous 10, that is 10 here, or we can round it up to the next 10, that is 20 here. Think. Which option do you think is more apt? Here is a rule to help you. You always have a 5 mark midway between the two tens. If the number is below 5 mark, you round it down. That is previous 10. And if the number is at 5 mark, or above the 5 mark, you round it up, that is, to the next 10. Here, 12 is below the 5 mark, so we will round it down, that is, to 10. Okay, now let's take another number. Now, we have to round off 34 to the nearest 10. Where can you fit 34 on this number line? It is somewhere between 30 and 40. And we know whenever we have to round off a number, we always have two options. Either we round it down or round it up. Also, we learned that if the number is below 5 mark, we round it down or else we round it up. Here, 34 is below the 5 mark, so we will round it down to 30. Good! Now, Let's take another example. Where can you fit 27 on this number line? It is somewhere between 20 and 30. And we know whenever we have to round a number, we always have two options. Either we round it up or round it down. Also, we learned that if the number is below 5 mark, we round it down, or else we round it up. Here, 27 is above the 5 mark, so we will round it up to 30. 
Good. Now, let's take another example. Now, we have to round off 65 to the nearest 10. Where can you fit 65 on this number line? It is exactly between the two, numbers 60 and 70. Or, it is on the 5 mark. And we know if the number is on the 5 mark or above 5 mark, we round it up. So, we will round it up to 70. So what have we learned? We have learned whenever we have to round a number to the nearest 10, we round the number up if it's on the 5 mark or above the 5 mark. And we round the number down if it's below the 5 mark. Good! Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.